All right, so we're going to make a student thermometer. There are copies in the uh, electronic files of the science kit of the thermometer that has Fahrenheit and Celsius scale. So those can be printed in advance and then copied for all the students. And then each student would need a sheet of construction paper or cardstock to be the background of their thermometer and to make it a little bit more sturdy. You can cut it like that. And then the students are just going to glue their thermometer onto the construction paper. There we go. Just kind of glue it down. And then probably the trickiest part for the students themselves will be punching the holes. So if teachers have an individual hand hole punch, that might work a little bit easier and they can opt to do that in advance or have the students do that. You're gonna punch a hole right at the top of the thermometer right here. And then again at the bottom of the thermometer. And like I said, I'm using scissors, but a hole punch would definitely work a little bit easier. without picking it off. There we go. Each student is going to need a piece of white yarn and a piece of red yarn. And they're going to kind of stretch those out, lay it out. And we need it to be a little bit longer than the thermometer itself because we're going to be tying it. So we need to give some extra room to tie the knots. Um, a length of about 30 centimeters would work if you're using metric, so 30 centimeters or about 12 inches. And snip it. And then we're going to tie two ends together. Actually, do it this way. There we go. And then you're going to feed that right through the bottom hole. Custodians. Gotta love them. All right, and then I'll pull the white from behind and I can feed that through the top hole. should be a little bit of extra yarn left so then we can tie it together in a knot. And then after it's tied you're going to want to cut off any extra yarn. We can cut that off and then we can check the back. And do the same thing here, cut off the extra yarn. And then it's done. And the students can practice reading different temperatures. They can slide the red up and down on the thermometer and practice reading in Celsius or Fahrenheit or comparing if it's Celsius, what would it be in Fahrenheit? And they just do that by sliding the red yarn up or down.